That's a beautiful home too. She remodeled it too. What's she uh, asking? One thirty. One twenty nine. Um, I say one thirty here. Okay. Hello. Hi, this is Justin. I'm calling about a property at five two zero nine Tammy Lane, Holiday. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's a, I got the right place, huh? Yes, you do. All right, excellent. Hey, I thank you for taking my call. Um, I'm actually a real estate investor, and uh, I'm looking for a new investment property. And this one here, okay. I came across this one, and it it, it looks nice. Uh, well, it is. Uh, what we do is, uh, we're actually a, a retired couple, but what we do is purchase a couple houses a year and fix them up. And then now you'll notice that she basically that just took the conversation that. right away, uh, uh, trying to tell me all the details about this house like it's the Taj Mahal. And uh, it's so kind of like, um, yeah, she's not throwing me here, but she didn't let me finish setting the agenda. So I'm going to remember to finish setting the agenda as soon as she gets done talking here. Uh, I may have to interrupt her, but I, I might be nice and just let her talk because she's real proud of this place. Leonardo da Vinci painted the ceiling and, uh, and it's uh, yeah. so it highlights that, as a we bed and breakfast and uh, 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 what else can we say about this place? Um, I mean, it's it's around. like glory. Okay. Really nice. Yeah. So it's all brand new with uh, shaker, what cabinets, granite countertops, all these stainless steel appliances. And then we did also put in all new lights. We had the electrician also go around and change every switch and every outlet. And there were a couple of things in the electrical box that were not up to code, you know, things that people <laughs> double tap over time and stuff. So the electricians also Somebody came wake in me and up. got everything up to code. I think I fell asleep there for a second. Too, so I really should know, interrupt this lady and, and get on with finishing the agenda for the call. The roof, which is a, um, I will do that here in a minute, though. I but I, I am getting some answers shingle. to some of my yeah. questions. Yeah. I know why she's selling it now. I know what's up with the money. I know a little bit more about the timing. And I also am putting this lady on a scale of 1 to 10 motivation. 10 being really motivated, 1 being not motivated at all. She's probably like a Four. And it's all tile flooring for Rob, which was actually in a real good condition, so we just did a good cleaning on it. So the main things we did was electrical, lighting, uh, of course, all new gutting, the whole thing, the yeah. kitchen, all that stuff. It sounds amazing. So Five minutes later. It looks really nice and clean and new. It does. It looks really good on the pictures, too. Um, well, yeah, and we also get, we painted the whole interior, even the ceilings, everything, the walls. We painted the baseboard, replaced any baseboard that needed to be replaced. Uh, painted the whole exterior, got some nice updated colors, even painted all the doors and all the trim works. We did the garage. Garage floor and everything, so we did a lot of painting as well. Wow. So it's nice and fresh, yeah. Wow. Um, well, I'm, I'm a real estate investor, uh, too, like you, it sounds like you're a real estate investor. Um, and, and I'm, <laughs> I still can't get through the agenda. She just will not stop talking. I probably will just spread it out, but we've already done all the work if that's what you normally do. Well, it's, um, yes and no. Um, I, what I what I really wanted to do, my goal was, is just to call you and let you know who I am and uh, ask you a few questions, and you could ask me a few, and if uh, anything, you know, seems uninteresting to you, that's okay. You can just tell me no. I'm I'm a big boy. I, I can handle it. Um, but I, holy I, cow! I, really I finally got through the agenda. Everything you I mean, did. It seems like she finally place. shut up long enough I for me to get through the it. agenda. Uh, what? 
would you consider anything other than a cash sale? Would you consider, cause I'd like to maybe rent it from you for a couple of years before I buy it. Would that be something that would be comfortable for you or probably not? Well, here's the thing. I mean, if somebody rented, like if they want to do a, 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 a rent to own type of thing, typically the only way that makes any sense for me is if it was a, a decent deposit. Uh, I or see. if you didn't finance in two years, if you didn't go get it, then I was I would get to keep that deposit. Stuff right. Like that. This lady is not who we're looking for. It is time to get off the phone. She is a motivation level number two on a scale of one to ten. I am bouncing out. I understand. With no money down or anything like that, where it's not a true rent rent to own, you know, where there's a real contract on and everything, I wouldn't consider that because I could just rent it myself otherwise. I I. 100% agree with that. Um, I'm, I'm looking to do something exactly like what you described. I've got some good people. Uh, like I'm a real estate investor myself. I'm not, I don't want to live there, but I've got some good people that I would like to place in a home um, and, and collect some money from them myself and, uh, and make some money too. But I'll, I'm also looking for a homeowner I can solve their problem. And it sounds like you're a pretty savvy kind of gal. Well, you know, we we do a couple of years, so we've been doing this, and we've had no problem selling them on our own. But uh, as far as rentals, yeah, I would just myself if I was going to go to that. But I, I typically have these sold within the first thirty days, so it's like, I oh, see. We just put this on a billow like last week. So okay, we have some time before we decide whether we rent. But if we did a rental, we would just do it on our own unless it was something where the purchase the, the company was actually purchasing a, the you know, a good amount of money down towards the purchase with the idea that they've got to get financing in a couple of years. Yeah. That's the only way I do that with somebody else. I, I completely agree with you and you totally 100% can do that and you you know how to do it and you can do it. And Hey, I appreciate the time you spent with me on the phone here and I wish you to have a good day. Okay. Thank you. Thank have you. A good one. You too. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Okay. Ryan. On a scale of one to 10, when we got on the phone with her, 10 is she's so motivated, she's giving it to us. One is that she's not motivated at all. Where was she on the scale of one to 10? I think one or two, she's not motivated at all. <laughs> yeah, not motivated whatsoever. Not motivated whatsoever. Uh, but, let me teach you something here about that conversation. That was not a great call. We didn't get the deal, but what we did do was we kept control of the conversation for the most part. I let her ramble a lot because she had a lot she wanted to tell me about her work and all this inside the house, whatever. Sometimes I'll cut them off <laughs> and I'll just say, Hey, I understand. I saw all the pictures. I, let me ask you a few questions. You can ask me a few questions. And then if it seems uncomfortable to you, anything that we're talking about, and you want to tell me no, it's okay to tell me no. Now, I always, always, always say that. You heard me say that in that conversation. Even though this lady was not motivated at all, I always say that phrase in a conversation because that allows me to be safe in the conversation. I've already told them who I am, what I'm doing. I'm looking, I'm an investment. I'm, I'm a real estate investor. I'm looking for my next investment property. I saw this one on Zillow. I thought I would give you a call and ask you a few questions. You can ask me a few questions. And if you feel uncomfortable or you like, you want to tell me no, or it's not going to work out for you at any time, you can tell me no. Does that sound fair? I always say that. Now that helps me stay in control of the conversation, the entire conversation. So as much as she was not motivated I was still kind of in control. She didn't get abusive with me or mean or any of that kind of shit. You know? So yeah. that's what I want you to gather out of that call. There is, I set, that's what we call setting the agenda. There's three steps in doing a seller call. It's setting the agenda like that. And then the qualifications is, is why would you, why would you be selling this? I didn't have to ask that because she was just, rah, 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 rah. Yeah. shut up. Yeah. 
Hey, thanks for watching, but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.